Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner and today we are going to discuss about week 4 of System Administration and IT Infrastructure Services. So welcome to week 4 and basically in this week we are going to talk about directory services. Okay, so first uh, introduction to directory services. Here you will get some questions about quick clips and some practice quizzes. So we are going through the questions and answers of the quiz. So basically the first question of introduction to directory services. What does a directory server provide? So basically a directory server provides a lookup service for an organization. And second question, what benefits does replication provide? So basically replication provides redundancy and it also provide, provides decreased latency. So basically these two will be the correct answer. Number three, what is the most popular directory services protocol used today? This is the LDAP or lightweight directory access protocol. So basically this uh, uh, this part is done so we're going to the second one which is basically about LDAP it is LDAP and everything about the central management so we are going to see the feedbacks of this quiz the first question of this quiz which of these examples uh, these are the examples of central management or centralized management so basically the first one role based access control and centralized configuration management these two will be the answer for the first one second question which of these are the components of LDAP entry uh, they will be the common name and distinguished name also number three what does the LDAP bind operation do exactly okay, this basically authenticates a client to the directory server number four which of the following are authentication types supported by LDAP bind operation so basically they're anonymous they're simple and they are SASL so these three are the examples of LDAP bind operation that support this authentication types okay so that's also done we're going to the next topic uh, which is about active directory so we're going to the quizzes of active directory there are 15 questions about active directory so you can uh, realize that there's a that much important topic okay so first one what is active directory active, active directory is basically microsoft's implementation of a directory server and secondly it's an ldap computable directory server so these two will be your correct answer number two how is an organizational unit is different from a normal container? It can hold additional containers. Number three, when you, are, when you create an active directory domain, what is the name of the default user account? It will be named as administrator. Number four, true or false, machines in domain controller groups are also members of domain computer groups. Yeah, totally false. Okay, number five, in what way are security groups different from distribution groups? Security groups can be uh, used to provide access to resources, while distribution groups are only used for email communication. Number six, what is the difference between a changing password and resetting password? Uh, changing a password requires previous password. Number seven, true or false, joining a computer to archive directory involves joining the computer to a work group. False, totally false. Number eight, joining a computer to an AD domain provides which of the following advantages? They basically provides you centralized authentication system centralized management with gpus these two are the answers number nine what is our what are group policy objects they are setting for computers and user accounts in active directory or ad number 10 what's the difference between a policy and a preference a policy is enforced by ad while a preference can be modified by local user by 11 with a brand new ad domain what do you need to change before you can target groups of users and machines with gpus you will need to place users and computers into new OUS. Okay, number 12. Select the right order of enforcement of GPUs. So basically, this is site, then domain, then OU, organizational units. Okay, so first you need to build a site, then you need to hire a domain, and then you can build your own organizational units. Number 13. What can we use to determine what policies will be applied for a given machine and RSOP report? How does a client discover the address of a domain controller? It makes a DNS query asking for SRV record for the domain. Number 15 and basically the last one so far. Which of the following could prevent you from logging into a domain joint computer? So first of all, you are unable to reach the domain controller. And third, secondly, the user account is locked. And lastly or third, the there are time and date are incorrect. The time and date are incorrect. That's it. So okay, that's all about active directory. That's a huge quiz session, I think. Yeah. So we are going heading to our final graded assignment. Okay, so there's something about open LDAP. So now we are going to the graded assignment. Okay, so in graded assignment. So we are ready for the graded assignment of directory services. So we're going to see the first question of directory services. Uh, there are three types of uh, three ways to authenticate an LDAP server. 
so the types are anonymous bind simple bind and SSL bind and you know this from your first quiz if you can remember and the second question in order to authenticate user accounts against AD what must be done to the computer you need to join it to domain to the domain okay number three what would you use if you wanted to set a default wallpaper background for all machines in your company but you still they have the chance to change their own so that's a preference right Number four, a client discovers the address of a domain controller by making a DNS query for which type of record? SRV record. Okay, number five, what are examples of lightweight directory access protocol or LDAP directory server software? Uh, these are the OpenLDAP and Microsoft Deep Directory or AD. When you log into a website that uses a directory service, what common authenticates your name and password? This is called bind. Which of these statements are about Active Directory are true? AD used as a central a repository of group policy objects or GPO and AD can speak LDAP that's this two are the correct what is the difference between a group policy and group preference you know policies are reapplied every 90 minutes and preference are a setting template number nine which of these are common reasons a group policy doesn't take effect correctly okay so the first one first login optimization may delay uh, GPO changes from taking effect replication failure may occur and Kerberos may have issues with UTC time on the clock Number 10, uh, to manage open LD policies over command line interface or CLI, a certain type of file is needed and this type of file is called LD file. So this is all about the directory services and week 4 and if you have the same questions and you shouldn't uh, miss the chance to get 100% score like as me and if you don't have these questions, uh, you, have some, you have some different questions rather than this so you can comment and I will provide you the answer. That's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you think this video helped you a little bit. And thank you for spending your most valuable time.